Hey boys and girls, Mrs. M here to share another read aloud with you. The story that I've chosen for today is Amelia Bedelia Helps Out by Peggy Parrish, one of our favorite characters. Remember, Amelia Bedelia is a very literal character, so everything that she is asked to do, she will do exactly the way that it is said to her. In this story, she is going to be going with her niece to Miss Emma's house to help out. And for the read aloud for this week, I am going to be sharing it out in three sections, beginning, middle, and end. And each of the sections, what I'd like for you to do is to think about, of course, the characters, the setting, and then also tell a brief summary as to what happens in each of the sections. So let's get started with Amelia Bedelia Helps Out. Have a good day, said Mr. Rogers. And you help your aunt, Effie Lou. I will, said Effie Lou. I'll come back for you late this afternoon, said Mr. Rogers. He drove off. What a grand house, said Effie Lou. Miss Emma is a grand woman, said Amelia Bedelia. She went to the door and knocked. Come in, called Miss Emma. Amelia Bedelia and Effie Lou went inside. I'm glad to see you, said Miss Emma. Sumter is sick and my garden is a mess. Don't you fret, said Amelia Bedelia. We will take care of that. Just tell us what to do. First, said Miss Emma, weed the garden. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. Is there anything else? Yes, said Miss Emma but go ahead and start before the sun gets hot. Come on, Effie Lou, said Amelia Bedelia. Let's get busy. They went to the garden. It does have a lot of weeds, said Effie Lou. She started to pull one. Stop, said Amelia Bedelia. What are you doing? Trying to get the weeds out of the garden, said Effie Lou. Get them out, said Amelia Bedelia. She said to weed the garden, not unweed it. Oh, said Effie Lou. I wonder why she wants more weeds. Amelia Bedelia thought. Those weeds are little, she said. Maybe vegetables get hot, just like people. They need big weeds to shade them. That's why Miss Emma told us to weed before the sun gets hot. That makes sense, said Effie Lou. I see some really big weeds. Let's get them, said Amelia Bedelia. They did. Soon the garden was weeded. Amelia Bedelia and Effie Lou went back to the house. The garden is weeded, said Amelia Bedelia. Good, said Miss Emma. Now I want you to stake the beans. Here's the string to tie them. You can use this saw to cut the stakes. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. So what do you think Miss Emma meant? And of course, what do you think Amelia Bedelia will do? There are bugs in the potato plants. Take this bug powder and dust them, said Miss Emma. If you say so, said Amelia Bedelia. The telephone rang. Miss Emma went to answer it. Amelia Bedelia found all the things she needed. She and Effie Lou went back to the garden. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. We will stake the beans first. Have you ever done that? Said Effie Lou. No, said Amelia Bedelia. But she said to stake them. Anybody can do that. Can I help? Said Effie Lou. Yes, said Amelia Bedelia. You count the bean plants. Effie Lou counted and said, there are 15. Amelia Bedelia unwrapped a package. She shook her head and said, that's a mighty little bit of steak for 15 plants. But it was all she had. She took the saw 
and cut the steak into 15 pieces. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed or not, but one of the words, steak, homophone, sounds the same, spelled different, different meaning. And the steak that Amelia Bedelia was thinking about, not the same as what Miss Emma had thought. I could have cut better with a knife, said Amelia Bedelia. Why didn't you use one, said Effie Lou. Didn't Miss Emma say to use the saw, said Amelia Bedelia. Yes, said Effie Lou. Then that's why, said Amelia Bedelia. Now hold the steak while I tie it. Amelia Bedelia and Effie Lou staked those beans. So you notice what she's doing with the steak that is meat, not the type of steak that Miss Emma was talking about. All right, beans, said Amelia Bedelia. Enjoy your steak. Effie Lou laughed. Your work is fun, she said. That it is, said Amelia Bedelia. Now those bugs are waiting to be dusted. How do we do that, said Effie Lou. Now again, what Amelia Bedelia is asked to do and what she thinks that she needs to do. I'll catch and you dust, said Amelia Bedelia. Here bugs, here buggy buggy bug. They caught and dusted every bug. Why did she want us to do that, said Effie Lou. Most people want bugs killed. But Miss Emma is not most people, said Amelia Bedelia. Those bugs may be her pets. They are pretty little things, if you like bugs, said Effie Lou. That takes care of that, said Amelia Bedelia. Let's go in. I made lunch for you, called Miss Emma. After you eat, throw those scraps to the chickens. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. So that's the end of the first part of the story. So again, I'd like you to think about the main character as well as the supporting characters, if you can name them. If you can tell a brief summary in order of what happened to Amelia Bedelia and those that she was with, and where the major setting was for that portion of the story. Again, you can share that with me or you can just discuss it with someone in your family. I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to share and then also sharing out the next story section to you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.